Hi, this is Gigi of the BoringTrader.com website. Uh, this is week 9 from the 26th to the 29th of May of the 15 minutes breakout system. Uh, these are the theoretical uh, results. Uh, it was a short week, it was bank holiday on Monday, but it was a very good week. Once again, it's been a week of two halves, if you want. There was uh, a pretty good volatility on Tuesday and Wednesday, and the system performed quite well, especially the one-to-one -one, um, situation, uh, trade style management, as you can see from this blue line. Um, but then uh, it was a very bad day on Thursday. The Thursday uh, was a, a day, I will talk about that in a second. Uh, so, the result is that the 0 0.5 to 1, the infamous trading style where you risk 1 to get half, would have given you a much better result than the 1 to 1. And the overall cumulative trade management comparison uh, shows that uh, risking 1 to get half is so far a slightly better strategy than the other two half and half or uh, half position at one to one and half position zero five to one or everything out at one to one um i want to talk a bit about thursday uh, thursday was a, um, a pretty bad day uh, the market were really very choppy and for the first time i think from uh, since we started this blog uh, there was no instance, no trade that actually hit the one-to-one -one target. Um, and this is the reason why the uh, equity curve here went down so much. Uh, it hit quite a lot of the uh, 0 0.5 to 1. And in fact, uh, we had five losses, no win on a one-to-one, -one, but uh, nine... Um, instances where the uh, 0 0.5 to 1 hit the target so uh, we would have made 4.5 um, um, R and and lost about 5 so more or less minus 1.5 R uh, overall uh, compared to minus 5 which um, really makes uh, a very big difference uh, but because overall was a, a very good week, uh, the fees impact was a little bit better than average, between 18 and 21, depending on how you count it. As far as the time of the day uh, performance is concerned, we had a big surprise. Uh, the 9 to 10 area, uh, which is infamous because it's the worst performer and was in negative territory uh, until this week, actually perform much, much better than anything else. It was a very strange week. Um, and uh, uh, perhaps this will continue, perhaps not. Uh, but as you can see, the, the 9 to 10 was by far the best uh, time to trade. And this is exactly when I stopped trading based on my previous statistics. It still show that the 9 to 10 from the beginning of the system is not really worth spending any time and any money on it. But this week was particularly good. The other uh, interesting fact is this. The 15 to um, 16 uh, in the afternoon uh, area uh, was negative. This is the first time that happened. And usually this is by far the best performer. There are some uh, consideration on, in terms of statistics here, but I will uh, actually move on. As far as the instruments uh, are concerned, uh, this was definitely the week of the British pound pairs. You see that uh, cable and pound against the yen uh, were uh, by far the best performers. Uh, the volatility was particularly good. Uh, it was good on all the other markets, but in the other markets, uh, the move started before or after uh, the, the time we trade. And um, 
on the pound it was bang on so this is why we have this pretty good uh, results but uh, these results are based on a one-to-one -one trade management style so I want to introduce uh, another little nuance to our uh, systematic approach we know that some instruments perform better than other instruments um, with the system but we haven't looked really into the different trade management styles per single instrument so for instance if you look at uh, Australian dollar against uh, US dollar here we see that it's kind of okay but not really a star uh, this is if we look at one-to-one -one. but uh, what happens if instead of using a one-to-one -one management style on Australian dollar US dollar we use a different one well that's the answer Australian dollar US dollar on this system if we use the 0 0.5 to 1 risk management style uh, is one of the best performers and, and you can see that sun markets uh, are better uh, if you use that particular trading style usually a one-to-one -one is generally outperforming the other strategy but uh, for AU definitely for EA as well uh, for EY this week and GY and you see uh, probably being less greedy if you like and, and 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 just be a little bit more scalping pays out and as you can see uh, the reason why I'm showing this is that if we don't write down and take uh, notes of all these nuances you will never know uh, and this is how uh, I, I just stress this point how important it is to journal properly all your trades the more you journal I know it's boring but the more you journal the more information you have about your trades and about your trading style and about how you can actually enhance your edge so I was planning to show a couple of examples today but uh, I, I just want to keep it short uh, it's it's a great gorgeous weather out there this is a brilliant weekend and uh, I think I'm gonna need some fresh air so any question please ask but uh, this is the end of this um, video so far Thank you very much.